Hi there, I'm Trey Marshall, a mix and mastering engineer. And this week, on special request, I'm going to discuss automation in Harrison Mixbus version 4. So automation can be a little difficult when you're working in any DAW. But hopefully after this video, you'll be able to start automating in your Mixbus sessions right away. So first thing I'm going to do, let's go to the mix window. Okay, first thing we're going to do is let's go down to the very bottom of the channel strip. You'll find the letter M. Now that M doesn't mean mute because the mute button is up next to the solo button. But that M is a mode of automation. If we're going to ride the fader during automation, we need to change that mode from M, which means manual, to touch. Now you're going to see a T. That in this channel strip, you have EQ, you have compression, you have sends to different buses. All of that can be automated in Mixbus. When we're on the mix window, the automation mode only deals with the fader. Okay, so when you're on the mix window and you change the automation mode, that only deals with fader automation. So now that we've changed it to touch mode, we're going to let the track play and while the track plays we're going to automate the fader in real time you hold on to the fader if you want to move it up move it up and when you let go it goes to its original position so it comes in fairly handy when you're doing passes of automation for each track if you want to do it in real time then you put it into touch mode and you hold on to the fader and you ride it for however long the pass is. Okay, so let's stop. When you're in the mix window, the automation mode only deals with the fader. If you want to have access to other parameters, we're going to have to go back to the edit window. So let's look at our first track. Now to see the automation, go to this A button, left click. And you can show all the automation, existing automation. Right now, we're just going to hit fader. So now you can see my automation lane. And you can see the edits that I made while I was riding the fader. You can do that for all the tracks. You want to ride the fader. You put it in touch mode. You play it. And while it's playing in real time, you can automate it that way. After I'm finished, I'm going to put it in play mode and then move on. From the edit window, you can access more parameters. I'm going to go to my snare top track, hit the automation button. You can automate the EQ. You can automate the compression, the trim, the mute. Let's do another fader. So I'm going to hit the automation button. Check fader again. Now this time, if you look in the automation lane, it's completely grayed out. So what I'm going to have to do is, again, we're going to take it from manual and we're going to put it into touch mode. Now, if you want to, we can automate the fader from this little blue slide bar right here. So I'm going to push play and I'm going to grab the fader and I'm going to automate it like that. Let me just hold on to it and automate and it goes back to where it was when you let it go. And then once you're finished, you want to put it into play mode. Now, even further, if you didn't want to ride the fader, if you want to manually put it in, you can do that too. So we'll go to the next track, which is the snare bottom. We'll do another fader automation. Is that wider? Okay, the automation lane is grayed out. We're going to put it into touch mode. But this time, we're going to put it in write mode. We can select our range tool and just select whatever you want to automate. Then you can select your pencil tool. And you can drag it down or you can move up and so forth. And those are a couple of ways you can use automation in Harrison Mixbus 
version 4. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or you want to see more Mixed Bus videos, then let me know in the comment section below or message me and I'll be glad to help you as best as I can. But I hope everyone has a great weekend. Happy mixing and I'll see you next week.